destructive TikTok challenge turning criminal. Two local students now facing charges for the so-called devious lick challenge. We are, we're told about this the first time about a bathroom vandalism trend last week. And TikTok vowed to remove those videos. But as CBS 46's Tori Cooper explains, it's not stopping. As students have certainly stepped it up just this week here at Midtown High School. Students were caught smearing red paint on the bathroom walls. Some students even tried to take a bathroom door home with them. Now, when we first started reporting on this, only about two schools were really dealing with this issue. But now some districts tell us that nearly every one of their campuses are now dealing with this TikTok challenge. Like mixtape. TikTok told CBS 46 they don't support this and would take these devious videos down. Like mixtape. But apparently, students just found a new hashtag to get around TikTok's attempt at slowing down the devious lick challenge. Students stealing items from school, typically in the bathrooms, uh, soap dispensers, that sort of thing. To avoid missing out on millions of likes, students are now just hashtagging the word lick instead of devious lick to showcase their latest steals from schools across Georgia. We have seven middle schools and three, really four high schools. And we had at least one incident, sometimes several incidents, at every one of those middle and high schools. As students step up their game to get away with a campus steal, staff is now also having to step it up too. Last week, students had to be escorted to the bathroom, and now they're being escorted off campus by police. We have students who are facing uh, uh, criminal charges. Just this week, two TikTokers at Evans Middle School were charged with criminal theft and interfering with government property after stealing a soap dispenser from the school bathroom. The school is going to press charges. Midtown High School student Aaliyah Rapping says her principal told parents that students will also have to pay for damages. Students were getting annoyed at the fact that they were walking into their restrooms and didn't have soap dispensers. Atlanta Public School says they even conducted a damage assessment that showed more than a thousand dollars in damages so far. They're stupid pranks that just went a little bit too far. A TikTok, I think, should take those things down. Now, most of the districts we spoke to say this is their final warning for parents and students. Meanwhile, we also reached back out to TikTok to see if they are now planning on removing all of the videos underneath the hashtag lick, and we did not hear back as of <clears> this time. <throat> Reporting in Midtown, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.